two years ago, the Fraser Valley was devastated by what was called a once-in-a-century flood. Homes and highways were destroyed and thousands forced to flee. And the water was rising and rising because of the breach and rising and then I was told to evacuate. Since then, 17 kilometers of dikes in Abbotsford have been raised by half a meter and major breaches have been fixed. But the fear of another flood lingers. They should be doing a little bit more with, with the and quickly. Like, we can't go through something like that again. They have to do something with the American River. The American River he's talking about is the Nooksack in Washington state. When it overflows, its floodwaters pour into the Sumas River, then cross the border into Abbotsford. Most of the time, the Barrowtown pump station keeps that water at bay. But two years ago, there was disaster here. We're in a much better spot than we were in 2021. Um, and we are hopeful that, that that's not going to happen. The mayor of Abbotsford says the city has undertaken a major effort to fortify what it can on this side of the border. But an existential challenge is how to manage the water that is not in Canada's jurisdiction. Last month, officials on the Canadian and American sides signed a transboundary agreement to address Nooksack flooding. But it came with no monetary commitments or timeline, only a promise. I'm comfortable that right now that we will come to uh, arrangement that will work for, for both countries. Um, but I can tell you that uh, um, our folks who are negotiating things now uh, will be making sure that uh, they have uh, the Canadian interests uh, in mind. Across the border in Sumas, the hardest hit American community, the mayor says he wasn't included and that not enough is being done. It was a little embarrassing, actually. You know, it's, it, the, the leadership doesn't know that that's going on. If it were up to me, I'd be down there with a shovel right now, right? In the 1990s, a cross-border task force was formed to research solutions after the Nooksack River overflowed its banks. In the end, no actions were taken. There is hope this time will be different. Michelle Gassoub, CBC News, Vancouver.